everybody, welcome to the new episode of Solo Chogokin and Z. Finally, we have a new model of the same robot. <laughs> Jig 73 Dynamic Classic Great Mazinger. Model that should be mirroring the film of the toy super robot. Main innovation compared to the Jig 02R but also some detail that make us understand 20 years ago things was made better. Anyway, let's dive down from the star. Au revoir, Guretto, because I am great. The great Mazinger. Scramble Dash! Roll the video. Dash, dash, dun, 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 dun. Let's start from the box Great Mazinger GX73 Dynamic Classic from 2017 Standard Dynamic Classic Package with a photo of the model in a powerful pose in the center and the right the pilot Tetsuya on the left a close-up of the face of the Great Mazinger both draw in a red and black This package is the normal edition but we can have a variant of the first edition with the stickers indicating a bonus items the two right ends for the handshake between the two Mazingers at the top left we have the logo of the 20th anniversary of Solo Chogokin at the bottom the logo of the anime on the side we have the continuation of the cover image with the general of the darkness and the fly fortress the other side is an image of the great Mazinger taken from the anime and we note the color are not exactly what we have in this model uh, 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 um. above and below the name of the model and that's it let's turn the box we have a mini picture of what you can do with your great Mazinger let's open the box and we have uh, the robot a second pants for more dynamic pose a scramble dash setup, the wing, two back spin kick, a great boomerang, the great booster, some part from the stand up mode, a great booster's ramps, two Mazinger's blade, a display dynamic classic. Let's move on to the instruction and like uh, all dynamic classic models, the instructions are in black and white, accordion folded, with all information of the operation of the various components, very detailed. But thanks God, we also have a colorful booklet inside the package, with the various information of the Great Mazinger, the various weapons, the making of the GX-73, the palette of the color, and a two draw image of the package as a cover and a back cover of this booklet. Interesting. Hmm. Here we are the display of the GX73 Great Mazinger DC and as we see the display it is a dynamic classic and like all true dynamic classic display we can open it and see the various object it contains. One set of ends can hold objects, one set of ends for the thunder break one set of open hands this piece it is for the two mazingers ends for the first edition of this model the great booster tip two knee impulse kick two knee for holding the impulse kick a second face with their eyes on to simulate the connection between the robot and the brian condor a naval missile two brands condor, one in fire on mode and the other one in flight mode, one set of drill pressure punch, one set of arms cover to simulate the launch of the croquetto punch. Let's close everything, remember this part can be removed to put the various stand-ups supplied to put your model in dynamic poses. Let's make a quick comparison with the display of the GX-02R and we see obviously they are different. We had the support for the sword while now you put the sword, yes, yes, right there, <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Beautiful, the new display, that's contained object but unfortunately can't hold everything, it is a pity. We quickly put the various stand-ups, which are two, one to support your robot in a classic pose, or there is uh, the other for more dynamic pose. Dash, 
Let's move on to the Pilders, who are two Brian Condors completely redesigned as shape, color and materials. Now we have a more rigid material. They are more defined but also thinner, smaller and lighter. Let's compare them with the GX02R pillars. And in fact, they are completely different, even though they are the same pillar. <laughs> is less playful and more likely. The pillar to be insert in head is more similar to the flight mode. Always short but very similar when compared to the one of the GX02R. There is less yellow in general, the cockpit is longer and we have a transparent glass in the docking pillar. In general, they are much more dynamic. The lower part of the flight mode pillar has also no longer the hole to put in a display. Let's quick comparison with the Brian Condor from GX70 Damage version and we can see are different. The Brain Condor from the Damage are taken from the movie Mazinga Z vs Dark General are with the cockpit smaller and missing the missile engine parts under it. Because the Brian Condor for the movie was designed before the series and in the second moment was a modify for the TV series and add this part. The short brain condor is more short and smaller. Let's take a close look to the first Brian condor with the flight mode and let's see how more dynamic it is. The color are applied with a more definition, less margin. Thanks to the new technique, well, 20 years has passed. <laughs> The second brand Condor is to be insert in the Mazinga's head, in fact it is shorter, but more similar to the model in the flight mode. A lot of improvement on this builder, with the cockpit rotated of 19 degrees and the transparent glass, exactly as in the anime. It is a pity there is no Tetsuya inside, would have been a touch of class, and not just another missed opportunity for Bandai. It is a pity. Bandai, you almost there to make a perfect pillar. Here we are to the wings of this great Mazinger DC GX73. In the package you have already the central body assembled and you just have to add the wings that have two setup in a different direction. You can choose where to put the wings, in the flight or in the landing position, exact like the GX70 Mazinger Z DC. It is necessary to observe the attachment and the coloring to understand what type of the wing it is. The junction of the wings can be directional and is no longer magnetic, but interlocking. Let's quick compare with the wings of the GX02R and before we have only one single block position. Now instead we can put in two positions. The coloring is slightly redder with a darker engine. The scramble dust setup we saw was introduced in the GX02R. These two has been changed. They have become smaller but with many more details. This also no longer is magnetic. Let's move on to the great booster. And it's come out already assembled from the package with a wing locket. The design is completely different, narrower, more dynamic, completely different color more similar to the anime. The wings of the great booster are in the flight mode, like those of the GX02. And here too we have the tip, but in the GX73 you had to add it and not extract it, as we saw in the GX02. Here too the magnetic is no longer present. We also have the ramp for the great booster to add that can be put in a various hole. We have the sliding of the support of the ramp to simulate the launch. Very nice. Let's move on to the robot GX73 Great Mazinger from 2017. Let's take it out from the box and we notice it is ready assembled and look like when Tetsuya called him and came out from the water with his eyes off. 
and ready for hooking. Madin, go! Let's remove the face with the eyes off and add the one with the eyes turned on, exactly like the Jig 70 Madzinga Z fantastic function. Let's take a close look at this model. I will say very well done. I will say the feet were made better in the Jig 02R. <laughs> we see at the rear the horrendous screw disappear finally cover it with a virus panel. Good job Bandai! We have more joints with the internal skeleton, completely different from the previous model. The pants can be removed and we see the joint. We can add the second pants to put the robot in more dynamic pose. We can add the naval missile in both pants. It fits but it cannot be fired. Only for expose. Today you will hear me shouting the virus weapon not too much. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> you can remove the diadem but it's not easy operation and insert the naval missile. Let's change the fist and put it a thunder break pose. Very possible we can simulate the atomic punch but obviously it cannot be fired. We can remove the joint and we can add the part that cover the arm to simulate the throw. We can add the drill pressure punch but even this cannot be fired. Add the punch that can hold objects, add the Mazinga sword which by removing the low part can also be insert in the fist. Above the color we are back to the color of the Jig 2 the color of the anime. We can remove the great boomerang and the spectacular things is the hole is automatically covered. Very beautiful. The connection part of the great boomerang is not beautiful. But don't worry, because as we see in the package, there is another one without that part to be used for these events. Great boomerang! Let's see better this beautiful detail. Very good, Bandai. We can add the scramble dash with the same function that we saw in a great boomerang. Let's add the evil wings which is, has the wings with a double position. Let's add the beautiful great booster. We can extract the wings from the legs but the extraction button is no longer present but it is manual. We can add the back spin kick by removing the knee, inserting the extra part and inserting the blades. Or add the knee impulse kick. Even the neck joints has become super articulated. Very beautiful. Let's compare it with our GX 02R and we see there are no more chrome on the legs and arms. The body is uh, more dynamic. The face of the GX 02 seems more pissed off, however. <laughs> They are both beautiful, perhaps the GX73 is more graceful in many details. This GX73 is not very similar at the GX02R. Perhaps to our GX02R, Tameshi Nation 2016, like these grey parts and the blue. Mm, no, because the blacks are different and it has black net parts. We went back over the year. Well, it is similar to our GX02. And as we have seen, it has not only the coloring of the some parts of the body similar, but also the color of Mazinga sword and idea of the great booster. Here we are at the final comments and the price for this great Mazinga GX73 Dynamic Classic. Very nice model for a price of 15,000 yen, 250 New Zealand dollar or 125 euros. Many difference from the GX02 and the GX02R. We have no longer any type of toy function such as firing the naval missile or atomic punch or letting out the rear wings by pressing the button and it has become a very beautiful display model, but it loses a little of that retro aspect that we have remembered as children. Improved the great boomerang, we no longer have the hole on the chest as is no longer the hole for the wings and the screw exposed. We still have two brown condors, one short and one normal, but with more definition and with the transparent glass. 
we have the function with which it's possible to remove the face to turn on or off the eyes. Beautiful idea. Weapons like a backspin kick are colored and no longer plastic gray. As we have seen, we have returned almost to the original model, the GX02. So, as I said, that model is not at all to be thrown away. As I said, this GX73 it is a beautiful model to have absolutely, but also not a perfect model. In fact, as we will see next week, we have another GX73 SP color anime with the color more similar to those of the anime. <laughs> oh yeah, very well Bandai. <laughs> so, see you next week, always here at Solo Chogokin and Zen.